What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, man. I told you today is gonna be just a really quick video, which it is because as you guys know, all the merch came in, so um, starting today, I'm gonna be getting cracking down on getting all your guys' orders sent out. But I did have a few things come in, dude, and starting with these items right here, we're gonna get into this in a little bit. But what I wanna do first is actually get Kaki cleaned up, man, because he's been sitting over there for a minute just collecting dust, bro and it drives me nuts seeing him like that. So I wanna get it cleaned up and we have something to put on khaki as soon as we do. These are still in here. <sighs> There's no way they're still good, right? Not horrible. Huh. <laughs> That's dirty, bro. Oh my goodness. detail not a lot of people see whenever I actually painted my uh, sun visors I just painted over the mirror <laughs> who needs that shit right dude I have already washed this car like 10 times man I swear but I'm still getting Tennessee leaves out of here every time I take the damn leaf or er, leaf blower every time I take my air blower through here <laughs> look another piece So let me explain this really quick because I've never actually gave you guys an explanation for this. If I mean, for those of you that have actually noticed, I've had a slick on the back of the car for the longest time. Now, when we made that trip all the way down to Tennessee, it was a slick that actually popped on me that I had to replace. When I replaced that 
that flat slick with that used tire, it was that damn used tire that blew out that actually caused all the damage to khaki so that's how that whole whole freaking problem ended up happening the the slick that i had left i had moved it to the back but what i did was i ended up stopping at a tire shop and i had them put two new tires on the front so that's what's on here now these are kumos that are actually on the front um it's just it's just a, a tire bro like it's not good for racing it's not good for anything bro but it's just holding air you know what i'm saying so this whole time i've had that slick on the back of the car so that's the reason why we are pulling the rear wheels off the car right now because this tire as you can see is pretty worn out so i'm going to replace that one and then obviously the slick this thing has like <laughs> i don't know like 4,000 miles on it being drug all the way to Tennessee and back what I'm replacing them with is a new set of slicks bro so we ended up picking up a new set of MH's and I ended up also getting them an inch thicker so that I have a little bit more tire patch on the ground but looking at them right now like not actually mounted they look a lot wider than the old slicks that were on the car I mean look at that <laughs> that looks like a huge difference. I mean, granted, it isn't aired up right now. I don't know. We'll see whenever. Yeah, we'll see whenever we actually get it mounted. If it is that big of a difference, man. Because if it is, it's probably going to be pretty difficult to get them to fit on khaki. But I'm going to make them fit either way. One way or another, even if I have to lift the front of the car a little bit and roll the fenders or fucking whatever it is I got to do to make them fit. But that's the plan, dude. We're going to load all this stuff up and go get these mounted really quick. Hey, Colton. And Colton's gonna be taking us. Yeah, I was out here working on it and he pulled up right now. I'm like, hey, bro, you got room in your trunk? So, hell yeah, he's gonna go with me and we're gonna go get this done and we'll get back to the house and see how well they fit, dude. I just got back from the tire shop, man. I swear I thought it was gonna take like 20 minutes to run up there. We've been gone for what, like an hour and a half? Well, you gotta remember, <laughs> there was, a, there was a, a man there that needed help checking his tire pressure. Yeah. No. Dude. It had to be something else. There's no way that's possible. <laughs> what the hell? There's no way. Dude, I'm I'm literally telling Colton the story about the last time I went up there. I had to take the Altima to go get one of the tires replaced on it. And when I'm standing there, I'm telling Colton the story. This guy come pulling up in a Lexus. He parked and he got out and he had like that whole like real manly persona going on like he just had that vibe to him he's like, like he's holding his arms like he's venting out his armpits like yeah like he's all really tough and whatever you know this guy comes walking up and he's standing there probably for like 40 minutes dude and then the guy that works there comes walking out and he's like could i help you with something he's like yeah yeah i just my car has been driving kind of funky bro i just need you to check the tire pressure and i'm sitting there like oh shit this dude been standing there for 40 minutes to have another man check his fucking tire pressure so how I just told you that story is how I was explaining it to Colton while this dude was standing next to us there. And then the guy comes walking out and then asks him what he was there for. And he's like, I'll get my tire pressure checked. <laughs> I couldn't believe it, dude. But we got the slicks mounted up and it they look a lot more natural now actually on the wheel. So I do think, like I can notice the difference. Like it is like noticeably wider, so. At least it's just gonna give it more of a meaty look, bro. I gotta turn this way so you guys can even see it. So yeah, it's just gonna have a lot more of a meaty look. But now, I gotta get the wheels off the front, put them on the back so we can put these on the front. Or stick her off. Mm, I don't know. Stick her off. Stick her off. <laughs> yeah. You're not that guy. No, I'm not that guy. Fucking get him off with a burnout. I think we should add this adhesive to the whole tire, though. I know, right? Stick Hell sticky. yeah. Heel freaking yeah, bro. Tires come like that. This is a meaty freaking setup, bro. Oh, 
jeez. Definitely got some adjusting to do to get it to fit properly because I don't want my damn fenders cutting into my new slicks, man. <laughs> Those things are too damn expensive. But anyhow, the tire's mounted. Now we need to move on because remember, got a lot to do today. So as for all this stuff right here, I'm going to save this one for last. So we'll set that aside. Can you guess what this is? I mean, come on, this has to give it away, right? <laughs> I don't know if you guys can read the fact that says fuel systems on it. All right, I kind of want the box. <laughs> fuel pump for pops, bro, but don't worry, I'm gonna make this quick. Matter of fact, I've already got it all torn apart. <laughs> so I already ripped out the old fuel pump. Um, well, the assembly. Now we just got to put the new fuel pump on here. The new filter, which I'm thinking might be a problem because it's a lot bigger than that one. This is the old one. That's the new one. <laughs> oh, crap. You know what? Jeez, man. I'm just dropping shit today. You know what? Never mind, dude. Look at that ring on there. That is clearly to hold the filter down. In which it looks like this is actually... The size filter that should be in there so maybe see what the maybe this is actually a good thing i got a bigger one actually it looks like it might be too big i don't freaking know we're gonna find out though don't judge me flat So I got the pump fitted in there. Uh, I have to use the old sock because unfortunately the one that came with the new pump does not fit, bro. Um, it's not necessarily the size of the sock. It's the way that the neck of this right here is. Um, if you see this one, how it's got like, like a giraffe neck on it. You know what I'm saying? And this right here has a hippopotamus neck. I needed the giraffe neck one. So anyhow. Uh, I sprayed that out with some with some carb cleaner though and clean. I mean there was nothing in it You know what I'm saying so It should be fine, but the pump itself is actually got more girth bro Like it's more girthier than the old one same thing my girl said to me. <laughs> I'm fucking lying. I'm lying It did not want to fit in there, but I got it to fit so now what I'm doing is the actual wiring like you can tell that whoever's replaced this pump before like they left these wires going down to that ring terminal and then they just snipped it and then used a wire nut on this side and then a crimp connect on this side. So what I'm going to do is actually just eliminate all this old wiring because the new pump did come with a new harness. So I'm going to run this with some new ring terminals on it. So it'll just be a solid wire going all the way to that and I don't have this freaking nonsense going on we're going from this to to that man that is so much freaking cleaner dude it's so satisfying doing little things like that so now that the harness is all new and it just slopes down nice and clean going to one connector bolted up where it goes like it it doesn't have any breaks in it this isn't four pieces of wire like dude it i don't understand why people like why some people don't just take the extra couple of minutes just to make something nice like that you know what i mean but anyhow that fuel filter most certainly was way too big to fit inside of that ring so and i wasn't going to be able to fit it without taking that ring out so i just went ahead and just pried it off and broke it off of there um but yeah it this the connectors the little nipples on this filter is literally like right next to that one and right next to the pump. So I just had to put little sections of hose on there. But I've got this all ready, dude. It's ready to go in the pump or pump. It's ready to go into the tank and then slap it all together. So, so that's what I'm going to do. And I'll see you in the next clip where hopefully Pops is running a lot better. Done. All right. Moment of truth, dude. <laughs> so I'm going to cycle this key a couple of times and no, I have not tried it off camera. This is genuinely the first time trying it. So I'm going to cycle the key a few times to fill the filter and everything. Oh. Holy shit. That sounded pretty crazy. Dude. 
That's a lot louder than the last pump. All right. to choke off. the fuel pump because still freaking doing it but anyhow i'm not gonna get too lost on that in this video because i'm supposed to be trying to hurry up here we got one last thing left that we got to do today and i hope it comes with hardware spring loaded hinges bro <laughs> for the little door on the booth man i told you guys i wanted to get some spring loaded hinges uh because here they are and I, at Home Depot, they're like $20 a piece. So I was like, screw that. I'll get them from Amazon. Um, I ended up paying $20 for both. So they're $10 a piece. Only half the price, right? So I'm going to go and install these real quick. And the spring-loaded hinges are installed. I'm not going to lie. These were a pain in the ass because they're the adjustable. Pretty much you have to spring them yourself. Like you got to spin this little thing in there and then put a pin in. But anyhow, I got it done. Um, I can still get it a lot tighter, but anyhow. Yeah, that's what it does. <laughs> oh my God. That's what I paid 20 bucks for. Yeah, I'm gonna have to make them stronger because it's gotta shut a little bit faster. It's not bad. Thing is, is whenever the fans are actually on, it creates suction, so that's also gonna suck the door shut. But what I want is for them to kind of just hold the door shut whenever we're not using it you know what i'm saying so anyhow it is what it is all right so got khaki cleaned up today got the slicks um the the brand new slicks which i'm excited for bro you already know we're gonna have to make a video some more race nights to come but we got the slicks all mounted up got the new fuel pump and filter inside of pops and now it seems like it's running even worse it doesn't even want to stay running i don't dude i don't know but Got the spring-loaded hinges on the damn booth. So now, I'm going to close this out, tell you guys peace, and I hope you enjoy the video and get in there and start packing up orders. Yeah. Oh, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Peace. Peace. <laughs>